Hey everybody, this is Kyle, and here I have another original song, and I'm still not sure what the quality is, reaction review, cringe-inducing moments, or whatever the case might be, but it's fun to go back and see some of these early performances or early versions of songs I later released. So here I have my song, Regular Dress, and this one bum, 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 is on my album, New Vintage, and you can find that on Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, all those places. And don't forget, if you like original music, you can always check out merch. And you can also support me on Patreon because that does go a whole lot further than ads on these videos. So back to the song. I wrote this in February of 2017. And 2017 was the first of four years that I was in a weekly song group called Song A Week. And at the time, it was based out of New York. So a few weeks ago, I posted some footage of me playing a different song that's actually on New Vintage too, but I'm performing in New York City, and how I was able to do that to get the invitation is by playing along in a song group. So getting back to this song, at the time of my songwriting for this in 2017, I was trying to write within a certain kind of scheme. I, I was trying to go for some sort of different feel. Now that became what I called new vintage. So what I was going for on new vintage is something that felt like it was written in the mid to late 60s, early 70s. There's some outlaw country, Americana, and of course blues and some other types of music on there. Regular dress to me always makes me feel like I'm channeling a little bit of Elvis when I go to perform it. And I'm curious, I haven't seen this video in a long time. Hi, this is Kyle Walls, and my song this week is called Regular Dress. Made a quick uh, backing track for it. Not sure I'm digging it, but uh, it makes it kind of fun to play along with. So here we go, Regular Dress. I'm going to set up the loop and start singing along. <laughs> So this is fun that I'm looping this. I forgot that I had played it like this. When I perform this song now, I do the same type of start, but I use an effect that makes my guitar sound like a bass. So I start off with the bass line, get that set up, and then I sing at a little guitar as I play through the loop. <laughs> Yeah. 
Elvis in there when I wrote this song. I'm not sure what made that come out. I, it wasn't like a grand plan, like, oh, I'm gonna try to channel some Elvisy kind of stuff with his vocals. But that was a lot of fun. And it is funny to me to see a slightly younger, less facial haired, and skinnier uh, version of me, so. <laughs> I understand you struggle In a cage with confidence Except it always in my eyes Let me know what you're thinking of this one so far. This was probably the second or third time I'd perform this song. When I did these drafts for the song group, is like the first or second time. It's usually the first time I didn't feel like I messed up. Which, you know, looking back, I wish I had more of these. Because I know some of them would be awful. This one, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this one so far. Let me take your hand Wow, that was a lot of fun to hear that early version of the song because I still perform it mostly like I did that first time, which is it's fun to see. It, you always forget if you change a song a whole lot, you know, after you go through recording and whatnot. I know the recording, it's arranged slightly differently uh, instead of just being the same loop repeated uh, because there's a little solo thrown in there. Let me know what you think about me sharing Original Music Weekly, because at this point I've been doing this a few weeks now, so let me know if this is kind of cool. I'll probably keep it up at least for the summer, um, but I do have some more footage and other things like this that I can share too, so see you next time.